the integral from a to b square root x minus a times b minus x dx. First of all, is the inside square root bigger than or equal to zero? I think so, because it's a parabola, right? negative x squared, and uh, so on and so forth. So this parabola, two roots a and b, and facing downwards. So the, here is the apex. Right? So obviously, two roots, two real roots. Here's apex, half of a plus b. X is bigger than a less than b, of course. Uh, inside square root, that's bigger than or equal to zero. And so method one, I let square root of x minus a, b minus x equal to one. And x minus a, b minus x, y squared. Right. x, b minus x squared, minus ab, minus ab, plus ax, equal y squared. x squared, minus a plus bx, plus y squared, equal negative ab. And x minus half of a plus b bracket square plus y square minus four a plus b square equal minus a b. And so eventually x minus half of a plus b plus equals 4 a plus b squared minus a b. That is 4 a plus b squared minus 4, four a b. a minus b squared. So that way, so this is essentially a function of circle a b the center of the circle is half of a plus b and zero right, here's the circle radius is just half of radius half of a minus b b minus a assuming assuming a is less than b Right, so circle half of b minus a, that's the radius. So here is the function. But we only need, we, we only take the positive, right, positive square root of. So right, if, it's, if it's under the x-axis, then it's minus, right? Since so we only have plus, plus, so above the, so here is the, Definite integral. The area. the area is just half of pi r squared. Half pi r squared is this bit. Right. 4 a minus b squared. So 8. Right. Pi times a minus b squared over 8. Method 2, we use Euler transformation. So we have quadratic equation, two real roots. So we can just let square root x minus a, b minus x equal to t times x minus one of the real roots, right, minus a perhaps. So that way x minus a, b minus x is t squared x minus i squared. Uh, assuming x not equal to a, and we just cancel x minus i out. Okay. So that way, t squared is 
z minus x over x minus a. Right, we, we're going to take the t. t is plus or minus square root of b minus x, x minus a. So this has no problem. Like I said, the uh, inside square root is definitely positive. So, uh, so is this fraction, definitely positive. So this is fine. And uh, since this is positive, right? So this must be positive. X, X greater than A. So this is positive. So T has to be positive. So I think this is positive. All right, so this is good. And so solve for X from here. Right, isolate x. And x should be equal to uh, actually, actually work from here. Right, from, from this equation, I have b minus x equal to x times t squared minus a t squared. So we can successfully work out x is equal to is it uh, a t squared plus b over one plus t squared? Huh? So in that case, what is uh, I'll work out dx. So dx is what d. From this equation, dx one plus t squared squared yeah. uh, der derived derivative this two a t two a t times the bottom one plus t squared minus. I uh, keep the top and differentiate the bottom two t two t times the top a t squared plus b. Plus b. And here we have uh, 1 plus t squared, squared, right, 2at times t squared, 2at cubed minus 2at cubed, so they just cancel out. So I only have 2at, first of all, minus 2bt. Right, that's all I have on top. DT, of course. So that way, my integral, right, this is integral, I, I is what? In that case, I is, first of all, change the boundaries. When x is equal to a, t is equal to uh, perhaps positive infinity, let's say, when x is equal to b, t is equal to zero. Right? And also the initial integrand, original integrand is t times x minus a, but let's first work out, uh, I want to work out t times x minus a, All right? Well, what is that? So t times x minus a should be equal to t times, what is x? x is this part, like this part, 1 plus t squared, a t squared plus b minus a, minus a. And that is 1 plus t squared, one minus, minus a, minus a t squared, a t squared gone b minus a times t, yes. So this integrand, now integrand not only that, also multiplied by dx, dx becomes this, so this multiplied together. All right, so eventually inside here I have one plus t squared cubed, cube. And also the top becomes common factor 2t, two, 2t two two t times t, 2t squared. 
and also a minus b, b minus a, b minus a. But I want to make it a minus b, take out negative sign, right? Become a minus b, so a minus b squared in this case, right? So this, I think this is good, dt then, right? And uh, get rid of the negative sign here and change the boundaries, zero to positive infinity. So this is fine. Now, this looks fine. Now, Now perhaps I want to I want to let t equals tangent theta. All right. We we could of course we could uh, partial uh, use partial fraction right separate this fraction in terms of t into the sum of several fractions and work out individually each. Uh, even eventually it's going to be easily doable, but. Uh, Alternatively, perhaps, you know, this could be less, less calculation, I believe. Because that way I have um, dt. dt becomes derivative of tangent is just 1 over cosine squared, I believe. Hmm? And also in that way, 1 plus t squared. Right, one plus tangent square is uh, uh, secant square, one over cosine square. Right, same thing. So that way, my right original integral should be equal to. Also, change the boundaries. Right, zero t is equal to zero. Theta is equal to zero. T is equal to positive infinity. Theta is equal to half pi. And uh, twice of a minus b square t square t square tangent square and the one plus t square uh, c cosine one over cosine square one over cosine square cube one over Cosine to the power of six. Right, that's on the bottom. Also, dt. dt is this part. Right? One over cosine squared d theta. And in this case, just uh, flip it on top. Right, divided by over cosine. So that's equal to uh, times. Cosine to the six, right? Same thing. And the cosine squared, cosine. So this can just reduce down to the power of four. All right, no problem. And twice of a minus b squared taken out. Zero to half pi. And what is that? Tangent theta squared. What is? It? That can be rewritten into tangent square is what sine square over cosine square. Right? Cosine square, cosine four reduced down to the cosine to the power of two. Right? So this is looking good. Right. So altogether, sine, sine, cosine to the power of two. D theta. Right, this is looking good. And sine theta, cosine theta is a double angle formula. Right, double angle formula that is half of sine twice of theta, right? 
So two to the power of two, four, four, right? Square, four, right? Four taken out, two over four, one over two. All right, sine squared two theta. Sine squared two theta is what? Double angle formula. I have cosine four theta is equal to one minus twice of sine squared, half of four theta, twice of theta. Double angle formula. So sine, sine squared two theta is half of one minus cosine four theta, right? So two taken out, right? One over four. Right, this is what I have in here. And so that becomes four a minus b squared. And what's the anti rule one? So one, this is the theta. Right, just theta from zero to half pi. First bit. Second bit minus antiderivative cosine four theta. Four at the bottom. Sine, I believe, four theta. Right? That's exactly the antiderivative. No problem. Right? Evaluate it from zero to half pi. All right, so zero to half pi theta becomes half pi. And this becomes what? Sine two, C, uh, sine two pi, zero. Sine pi, zero. So this gone. Just half pi. Again, again, this becomes pi times a minus b squared over eight. Same thing, same result. 